everybody. This is Sid Hamid, and um, just doing a catch up for the day. So, as you guys can see, the markets are, have gotten a little better. Um, so they're talking about a trillion dollar with a package, you know, to to uh, to print. So this will help, um, but the viruses continue to spread, and um, the airlines, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on with the, with the airlines. So Warren Buffett just put in $5 billion in the airline market. So he's going to be uh, buying a lot of the stuff here. So, but look, um, today, you know, today was the second day with all this stuff with the coronavirus and everything like that. You know, the, the gyms and the restaurants and all these places were closed. So basically, you know, I, I had to change my uh, my routine. So I did get up this morning, like I typically do around about 5.15, 5.30. I meditated until about 6.15. Um, and then, you know, uh, during that time is when, you know, you're like halfway asleep, but then you're awake where you could really tap into your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And you could get your, um, your pineal gland, you know, how to tap into your pineal gland and how to get everything in order. And, uh, that's the highest power where you could connect and then you could get your, your chakra alignment and, and you ask for clarity and direction and guidance. So I got all that out the way. And then we, my wife and I, we went for a walk for about an hour. Since the gym was closed, we walked around the lake, around the community and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, came home and I uh, was trying to figure things out. There was a meeting that we had scheduled last week with some 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 pretty decent sized uh, players in the area. And we didn't know if the meeting was going to take place. And so we confirmed. And so we did have a meeting today around 11 o'clock with some good people. And uh, we, we talked about some really good things. Um, very intelligent people around the room, and um, so we have some good plans as we come through this whole coronavirus and get on the other side of this, and the market picks back up and and, and it's going to take off, and then uh, we want to be able to be in position to 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 make a make a lot of money, and to also help a lot of people um, at the same time, and so it's about strategy, and and you have to plan, and you have to think, and you have to. You know, you have to, you know, you, you have to go with the waves, right? So you have to course correct. So based on the market, based on everything that's happening, you know, we have to pay attention to the data, pay attention to the market, and then we have to, you know, course correct. Because all these large companies like Goldman Sachs, I mean, we're talking about a trillion dollar stimulus package. These all these companies are, are in alignment with the government, the Goldman Sachs, the Morgan Stanleys, you know, they're in alignment with the government, the federal government. Steve Minucci, I mean, guess where he comes from? You know what I mean? And and this guy, I mean, these guys have been friends all their life. So there's a process here. There's a there's there's a bigger plan here. And you know, when there's chaos, there's opportunity. And when there's chaos, there's a lot of money that goes missing. So just like it happened in the eighties, the nineties, the two thousands, in in the in the war, you know, there was eighty seven billion dollars worth of money that was going uh to the war with the last stimulus package in 2008. And there was a lot of money that's missing. So, but anyway, you know, it's good, you know, for the economy, they could do all these things, but at the end of the day, you know, we all gotta stay safe and stay protected, stay away from everybody and do, you know, not contaminate anybody. Um, but we also gotta plan and we also have to think and we have to plan and think because when the markets go down, this is when we as investors make money and then we, when it stabilizes and then then the market goes up, you know, we have to plan. And, and then, you know, we, we do refinances and stuff like that. So, yeah, but overall, it was a good day. You know, today is uh, March the 17th, 2020. And it's it's Tuesday. Um, I had a couple of good meetings on Skype. I spoke to like six, seven real estate agents overall about the market and, and what they think, what they feel. These are guys doing $30, $40 million a year, and they're feeling impacts on the, with their buyers, with their sellers. They're starting to see and feel some things and you know, have some really good high-level conversations with these guys. 
So, but yeah, we're all going through this together as a real estate investor, real estate agents, real estate broker, you know, um, as a developer, builder, wholesaler, you know, but the thing is you have to think about um, who to align yourself up with, you know, get around the right people and just start brainstorming and thinking bigger and, and, and think about the solution and not the problem, right? We know what the problem is. Think about the solution and focus on that. And uh, we'll get through this. And as we do, hopefully we'll get through it sooner than later and everybody um, is safe and, and doing what the government is asking us to do and, you know, wash our hands and all that shit. So anyway, look, Sid Hamid, Brickfront Properties and Construction. I'm just trying to do a daily thing um, to kind of talk about what has happened today. Um, oh, the other thing, you know, we came across about three or four deals as well that uh, we're going to be going out to some of our cash buyers and investors that are liquid. If you want to be on that list and you're a cash buyer and you're liquid and you can close quickly, send us information. You know, give me a text message at 703-855-3324, 703-855-3324. We'll put you on our list as we get some of these assets that are off market. And if you want to buy them, you know, and you're liquid and you're in the position to do, do so, cool. Um, let's do it. Um, we're also going to be tapping into some of the banks over the next couple of weeks. And, and talk to them directly to get some direct assets from them as well. So this is the time for us to get properties at 40, 50 cents, 60 cents on a dollar. So we could all make money. Um, but, you know, we, everybody wants the right person, the right people to work with. So um, if you're interested, send me um, a direct message and then we'll talk. All right, Sid Hamid with Brickfront Properties and Construction. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.